Welcome to Mancinelli's Math Lab. I want to make this follow-up video for something I assumed in a previous video. So I want to show this statement right here. Okay, this statement that um, the, expect, uh, the, the conditional expected value, the conditional expectation of x, given that x is greater than a, is equal to a plus the expected value of x. This is for x, an exponential random variable. And this is related to the memoryless property. This is just saying, look, what's the average assuming that a random variable is greater than a value? Well, it's going to be the exact same average as before, 1 over lambda, plus however much you already went above that value. right? The value of the random variable is already greater than a. Okay. Then all I needed to do to get this conditional expectation is just add a to the original expectation. So I just mentioned this in a video I made recently. So hopefully this will clear that up. This is just a, a quick computation. So in terms of the proof, I'm just going to look at the left-hand side. Um, how do you compute this? What is the expected value of x given x greater than a? So I did make, I actually did cover this in a previous video, but I'm just going to Cover it again real quick. Hopefully it will be quicker and easier to understand. Uh, by definition, this is equal to the integral uh, over, so a, is, sorry, x is already greater than a, so it's a to infinity, right? And then I need to multiply x to the conditional density function. So I, I never liked the notation of this, but <clears throat> Um, this is equal to basically the probability of x given x greater than a dx. So what is the what is this density this conditional density function? Um, the probability of x um, given x greater than a is equal to the probability of x equals x and x greater than a divided by the probability that x is greater than a. Okay, um, <clears throat> now the numerator here is just the density function of x. And why is that? Um, we're essentially accounting for the fact that x is greater than a with using this integral. So this is really just the density function of x, which we know. And now I need to divide that by the probability x is greater than a. Probability x is greater than a is the survival function. This is the survival function. This is 1 minus the CDF. You should be very familiar with that uh, because in this case, since we know our PDF, it's easily known. We should know this. The PDF is, of course, this, lambda e to the negative lambda x. Let's use that because then this is just e to the negative lambda x. Nothing going on. Quite straightforward. And so, <coughs> sorry, this is lambda a, e to the negative lambda a. <clears throat> now, what um, does this become? So let's just write it right here. So this is equal to now lambda e to the negative lambda x divided by e to the negative lambda a, which is equal to lambda e to the negative um, lambda times x minus a. So nothing crazy going on, just some algebra. Now we have our integral. So then we have this, the expected value of x given x is greater than a is now the following, right? It's just the integral from a to infinity of x times lambda e to the negative 
lambda x minus a dx. <coughs> this is um, could be computed easily. I don't actually really want to compute any integrals though. I'm going to let u equal x minus a so that du is equal to dx. Let's make a substitution. So, excuse me, we have the following. Now, you guys are all tremendous uh, calculus students, so you know that when you make a substitution, you absolutely need to change your bounds of integration. When x is a, u is 0. So this becomes 0. When x tends to infinity, u also tends to infinity. So this bound of integration remains infinity. And by the way, I'm being hand wavy. I mean, these are improper integrals. We need to take limits, things like that. But right, we're just we're glossing over those details because they're so trivial, right? Now, if u equals x minus a, what does x equal? x equals u plus a. So I've just made a substitution there. Um, I've just replaced x with u plus a based off this relationship over here, right? Nothing crazy going on. Times lambda e to the negative lambda u du. So substitute. That's all we've done. Make a substitution. Does this help me? Well, this is where we kind of have to be hand wavy again because we're dealing with an improper integral. But limits have this this property, so you can go through the details and you can definitely do this. Just use the the property that allows you to basically turn a sum. You're integrating a sum. It's the sum of the integrals. So this is equal to the sum of zero to infinity of u times lambda e to the negative lambda u du plus the integral 0 to infinity of a times lambda e to the negative lambda u du. And right now when you look at this, you should say we're done. We are absolutely done. Because why? What is this? This right here What is this? This is the expected value. This is the expected value of x. And you can say, well, whatever. I mean, no, it's not because we have the, the variable u in there. u could be anything. u could be a school bus. I could call that anything I want. This is just a dummy variable. u is a dummy variable. It could be anything. It could be a pirate ship, a school bus, a frog, a z. It could be the letter u. It could be whatever you want. Doesn't matter. This is the expected value. What is this? This is this is basically by definition a because what are you doing here? Um, this is adding up all the probabilities. We well, factor a out. It's adding up all the probabilities. They must be one. So then one times a is a. And we're done. We're done. So I mean, if you want, I mean, compute this. You don't believe me? Take the integral. It's a. So this is equal to a plus the expected value of x. This completes it. Uh, I want to just remind you of when this came up. Um, well, no, let me just tag that video in this one. So thank you, thank you for watching. Please like the video, thank you for subscribing, and tell me what you think.